Water is flowing from Germany's sinks and showers. And plenty of water is flushed away as well. It all adds up to more than 10 billion cubic meters of wastewater each year. It all ends up in the country's sewage plants. The problem is pharmaceutical drugs are also found in human waste. To ensure rapid absorption in the body, most drugs are water soluble. And that makes them difficult to remove from the wastewater. Even if it's processed in activated sludge tanks and other purification facilities, it often ends up in nearby streams. Meanwhile, scientists have discovered more than 150 different drugs in lakes, rivers, sediment, and groundwater. Experts estimate that hospitals are responsible for some 5% of the drugs contaminating wastewater. To reduce that amount, scientists are researching a new kind of sewage system. Water from toilets, so-called black water, is pumped out through a special pipe system. So-called gray water, water from sinks, showers, and other sanitation facilities, flows into a separate pipe. Because the wastewater is now separated, the organic component is concentrated in the black water. As a result, only about one-sixth of the wastewater is contaminated with excrement containing drugs and their byproducts. In addition, the heavily contaminated black water can be fermented in a bioreactor for the production of biogas. The biogas can then be burned in a thermal power plant with human waste producing electricity and heat. This procedure is being researched at the Bauhaus University Weimar, where scientists put this new form of energy production to the test. They're also testing the possible breakdown of drugs that are excreted along with feces and normally end up in the environment. Twelve experimental bioreactors are provided with special black water from a housing complex in Lübeck. The wastewater comes from vacuum toilets, the kind that are also used in trains and airplanes. That means the feces are even more concentrated. And they're combined with so-called organic co-substrates, waste material from gardens and organic waste bins. The methods for generating biogas and breaking down pharmaceutical products are not mutually exclusive. We have shown that adequate amounts of biogas can be produced with the additional co-substrates and that a high rate of drug degradation can be achieved. If the organic waste that can be found in any normal household is combined with wastewater inside the bioreactors, the results are impressive. With this technology, a household could produce enough gas to cover half of its electricity needs and almost all of its heating requirements. In addition, the facility partially breaks down the drugs. The anti-inflammatory drug diclofenac, for example, by up to 92 percent, and the anti-diabetic drug metformin by 95 percent. Both substances are difficult to eliminate in a normal municipal sewage plant. A separate wastewater system is needed to operate this kind of bioreactor effectively. But laying new pipes in an existing facility involves considerable effort and costs. That's why researchers at the Bauhaus University Weimar are looking for cost-effective ways to separate gray water from black water. In 
In a so-called inline process, engineers employ a hose made of resin-saturated tissue. It's blown into an existing sewage pipe. Afterwards, the special resin hardens, creating a pipe within a pipe. A second tissue hose is blown into the first pipe. Here, too, the resin hardens to create a second pipe within a pipe. The black water from the vacuum toilets flows through the pipe with a small cross-section. Gray water from the showers and sinks flows through the pipe with the larger kidney-shaped cross-section. Thanks to the vacuum, the black water is able to drain through the smaller pipe, while the larger, kidney-shaped pipe handles the gray water. The Weimar researchers are satisfied with the new wastewater drainage system. They're also examining other uses for gray water. The gray water can be processed separately in a gray water processing facility and used to flush toilets, for example, or for the outdoor sprinkler system. You could call it a secondary use of the wastewater flow. Water conservation. Biogas production for generating electricity and heat. And drug degradation. Researchers at Bauhaus University Weimar are discovering new technologies that could make wastewater systems sustainable in more than just hospitals.